Hey, Axel here. In this video, we are going to be talking about whether film school is worth it or not. And I have my friend Beecher to answer a couple questions. So I'm a writer director and I am a professor at Lee University and I teach in cinema. So Beecher and I met a long time ago when I first came to America. He was one of the first filmmakers that I met. And ever since I've been following everything that you do, I really like some of the films that you have produced. I wanted to ask you a few of these questions because I think you have a lot of good insight. You went to your undergrad program and then you went to, your, to get your master's in film. I only did the undergrad and then I went out to try to start working in the industry. So I, I wanted to get your perspective on this and why do you think someone should look at film school and is it really worth it or not? Absolutely, and I would say that uh, it's different for everyone. Um, but I would say the three things that film school offers someone is the ability to collaborate with people at their own level, the ability to fail, and the ability to discover their strength. Most of the time, uh, the students that we get here at Lee University and the most, the, most of the time the students that I worked with, um, they enter knowing they like the idea of doing film, but they really don't know what that, what that world is. Mm -hmm. um, and so all three of those things give them the ability to kind of figure those things out. For sure, because like thinking that you want to be in the movies and then actually working in the movies are two separate things. I kind of like that I went to film school. Sometimes I wish I hadn't gone to film school, but I really agree with you on that collaboration mm -hmm. point. I think that for me, that's one of the most important things of going to film school. Can you talk a little bit about collaboration and working with other people? Absolutely. So you get in a class and we assign a project and we say, okay, you all need to work with each other on these projects. So suddenly, uh, I'll say this, the first semester I was in uh, film school, uh, in my MFA program, I was on six movie sets, six short film sets within, within on, three months. On the first semester? First semester, wow. yeah. And then I worked in, uh, let's see, like four or five different roles. Um, and I collaborated with a lot of different people. And uh, it's that collaborative atmosphere that's at a university where, you know, you meet in a classroom and you brainstorm for a few hours. And it's uh, go get coffee and you talk about movie ideas. It's showing rough cuts in your dorm room. It's uh, this ability to collaborate with a lot of different people. And now I'm still benefiting from that because mm -hmm. the people that I collaborated with are doing really cool things. And I can still call them up and talk to them that are working at Netflix now. Mm -hmm. I talk to them that are working at Fox. I talk to them that are working um, in the industry and at other universities. And it's this, uh, these connections that I have that um, I still take it, I still use to this day. I believe that film is like 50% art and artistry, and another 50% networking. Mm -hmm. It's all about the, the people that you get to know. And you always hear, oh, film is about the people that you know. And I don't mean it in the way that people are just going to hire you because they know you and they're friends with you. Mm -hmm. It's more of that support and being able to call them up when you have a, a question, yeah. try to find out how to do this part of, of the process. We were just talking about distribution and all of that. And like, I'm trying to figure out that with a film. I call some other people that I, that we both mm -hmm. know and ask him questions because they are going through that process right. too. That is, is something that is kind of hard to put a price on because mm -hmm. you don't know until you're down there and you have the problem and then you know, oh, I can call Beecher because he will know mm -hmm. how to get this done or maybe he knows someone who knows someone. So Absolutely. collaboration is, is really important. What's another thing that you would say is, is a good point, yeah. selling point for people deciding whether to go to film school or not? So in this atmosphere of collaboration, you have these, these kind of forks in the road where it's like, okay, we could go this idea that's really risky and really out there and really crazy or we go this idea, it's kind of safe and by the book. Film school is an opportunity to take those risks mm -hmm. and to do things that may fall on their fa fall on its face, or it may be really, really great. Of those six films that I was on that first semester, I would say four of them were really, really bad. Um, they tried some things with the camera that did not work. Nobody came in yelling that they lost millions of dollars on that shoot. We just went, oh wow, okay, yeah. Apparently, uh, flipping a camera in the ocean, uh, you know, doesn't work. Uh, the way we thought it would. And so it's this ability to experiment and fail and then learn from those failures and you just don't get that as much in the industry where if you go in as a PA, um, you know, they want you to do your job right 100% of the time and if, if you decide to take a risk and it doesn't work out, uh, nobody's really wanting a, a PA to take these kind of creative risks. Yeah. You're just kind well, of you, you don't have a chance to take any creative risk right. because you're not going to do it, be doing any creative things. What do you think of people that say, 
Well, but you can also create an experiment with your iPhone uh, in your backyard. What's the difference experimenting on your own to experimenting on a setting where you can actually see whether things are working yeah. or not and trying to convince other people to experiment with the thing that you want to do? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the shots we did um, for one of these films involved someone uh, standing at a, uh, on the sand of a beach walking down to the ocean. We had... I don't know, a 50 foot crane with a red Epic on it, which is a camera that you know a lot of legit, legitimate people shoot with. Mm -hmm. um, and they did this like move where as they walk through, it flips over in the air and then flips around backwards. It didn't work, it didn't look good. It had a lot of mistakes in it, but you can't, ex you can't figure that stuff out with on an iPhone. Yeah. And you can't figure that out unless you have help of a lot of people. And there was a crane operator involved in that. There was a first AC, there was a DP, there was a director, there was a producer. All of those people had their hands on that, that shoot. And that's the kind of experimenting that film school offers. Yes, you can get your iPhone, you can go do stuff. And I actually encourage that. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great, great thing to do. But if you're wanting to experiment in a little larger sense. And then two, the other thing it gives you is you go and shoot these films and you experiment with them. And then it plays at the end of the semester against all these other student films. And yeah. you will see what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. And you're going to see that one guy that you didn't think you know, was really gonna come up with that great of a film. His experiment worked beautifully. Mm -hmm. And now you're going, oh, I can do that for my later stuff. Let me try working with him in the future. Let me try um, that technique. And so it's this time, once again, it's a safe place to fail, which uh, once you're actually in the industry where money is at stake constantly, they, they don't really want uh, you to be failing at all. Yeah, it's really hard to experiment when you have so much more money on the line. All that experimentation it's not only with different ideas and different concepts, but also you can experiment in different departments. Absolutely. Picking on one film, you said you had like four or five different roles. Mm -hmm. How does that work? When I went to film school, I kind of knew I liked doing, I was decent with the camera. I'd shot some things before. So my world pretty much stayed with uh, DP, first AC, second AC, um, and uh, occasionally a PA. So that was kind of where my, my world was. But what I see frequently with students as they enter is saying, I want to be writer-director. That's what most people say. And then they have to write their first screenplay. And they go, oh, I don't really like writing. I really like being creative. I don't like writing. And then maybe I like, uh, actually like building the world or building the set for my film, but I don't like writing the story that's in it. So now suddenly, um, you know, a year or two in, they're going, let me try the art director thing. So they go and do the art director thing on a short film. They go, oh, I love this. Yeah. Um, or uh, first AC is like, you know, let me try the producer thing or someone that enters the producer says oh I want to try um, I want to try dolly grip I mean there's you can try you will try in film school yeah. many many different roles and you'll figure that out so I'd say almost all of uh, the students that come to Lee are unsure of what they want to do in the film industry they're like I think writer director I think producer I think editor and I would say 75% of the time, by the time they graduate, they have a different role. Yeah. That's simply not really allowed in the film industry. Mm -hmm. If you're a on-set PA, they don't want you switching to uh, to the office PA, mm -hmm. back to on-set PA, then to do a script supervisor thing, then do art director thing. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't really fly in the film industry. They want you to just pick a track and stay in it. Yeah. But oftentimes you don't know. I mean, especially the students we get here, they do not know what the film industry is. They love being creative, they love being collaborative, but they don't know what it is. And that's mm -hmm. ultimately, all three of these things go together. Ultimately, yeah. what I say is, if, if there's a student or if there's someone that is, loves the idea of film, but doesn't know exactly what that entails or exactly what they like about it, then I think film school is absolutely the place for them because yeah. it gives them a safe place to figure all that stuff out. For me specifically, I knew what I wanted. So I, I did my undergrad. I had an opportunity to come to Lee. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm ready to go out. Yeah. For you, you had an opportunity to get your master's. Mm -hmm. I think if you're watching the video, you're probably thinking about the film school or just going straight into the industry. As long as you can figure out your finances and it's not something that is going to drown you afterwards. Yeah, I mean, I would say student debt's a big thing to think of too because mm -hmm. if you want to go into the film industry, whether you have a four-year degree or not, um, you're going to probably start at the bottom and it doesn't pay the most. Mm -hmm. And so if you have, you know, $800 a month of student debt that you're paying back, you're not going to have the ability. You're going to have to take a job that you don't want in a different field. Yeah. So student debt's something absolutely you should consider. I really believe that if you do the four year, you will uh, figure out a lot about yourself and a lot about what you wanna do. Great, so I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. Also hit the like button, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. I hope to see you in another video and go out there and make movies.